morning. It is August the 12th, and it's a couple days after the heavy, heavy, heavy rains that we had here in southern New Jersey from the remnant Hurricane Debbie. And before that, I mentioned in a previous video that we had two and a half inches of rain about five days before, and then another inch, and then it was raining when I was filming the video. So if you put it all together, <laughs> it, it was a near disaster. Um, and so I am going to talk about how some of these fig varieties fared under the onslaught of extreme stream torrential rains and uh, there has to be the infusion of several qualifiers though because um, my Rondi Bordeaux which is my earliest main crop fig was more advanced in the ripening stage than the others so it, it took the heaviest hit but that's to be understood because of the fact that there weren't as many green figs. There were more ripe figs and they were more advanced. This, this is uh, Celeste. This is my larger tree, but smaller version of Celeste. And they took a tremendous hit too. They did take a hit and the birds were getting at them. It was a, it was a wild time. Uh, Debbie had me come out and pick some of the Rondi Bordeaux and some of the Celeste. The Celeste weren't quite as ripe. Fortunately, they weren't quite as ripe. So now there's more getting ripe, as you can see. And that's, that's good news because I, I really love my, my Celeste variants. They're very rich and they're just a joy to me each year. And it's one of the most reliable and dependable varieties in, on the East Coast, period, and everybody should have one. We talked about this ad nauseum. Everyone should have one, a good variant in their yard, in my opinion, and uh, in, in ground, where they do the best, for sure. And another variety, which was coming along really well that I've talked about over the years, this LSU um, fig in my collection is called Tiger. It is a very, very, very commendable fig that I have recommended in the past. And it was also getting ripe during all that rain. Not quite as many were ripening as were the Rondi Bordeaux, which we're going to talk about in a moment. But but quite a few of them were ripe. And they're still ripe. Let me get... Um, and they, I would say, they fared very, very well, these figs. This LSU Tiger variety. They're beautiful. Can you see them? I hope you can see them. I can't see as perfectly as you can through the lens here. And I see I didn't put the light, the brightness up very much, so I can barely see, actually. <laughs> but this is the LSU Tiger, and they did very well in the rain. I want to say that's, I need to point that out, because that's a huge factor in the Northeast. They did very well. I had very little spoilage. And Debbie had me come out here and we made some fig bread, which we're baking up. Um, so we tried to save as many as we could. Mm. This is a very delicious fig too. It's unique. It's not the same old boring varieties that we so often run across. And it's it's something different. It's it's set apart. I, I like it. 
It's very thick skin, chewy, but the skin is flavorful. I like this fig. Mmm. It's tasty, it's rich, it's not overly uh, sweet. I like my figs sweet. I like many of the of my favorite snack foods to be sweet. Uh, some people have an aversion to it. I, I respect that, but I don't. I, I like my figs sweet. I want to enjoy my figs. I like my watermelon sweet. I like my ice cream sweet. I like my peaches sweet. I like my apples sweet. I like, I mean, my cherries sweet. I like my blueberries sweet. I don't get this thing about, you know, well, it's too sweet. Well, it's not too sweet to me. Beautiful figs, don't you think? Just absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, I see a real ripe one down there. And I'm going to just take my time today. I'm moseying around. I'm, I'm not full of energy today, but it's a beautiful day on the 12th here of August. Look, it's just gorgeous and finally dry and cool. Last night I stepped out with the doggy and I couldn't believe it. I had my short sleeve shirt on and shorts and I was actually chilly around 1130. And, um, Gosh, I went in and told Debbie, I said, it's cold out there. She said, yeah, it's going to go down to like in the 60s. So out here in the country, it goes down another five degrees at least than it does in the neighboring towns and places, sometimes 10. Mmm, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Well, it is. Look at that. sun's coming out. Look at that. It is delicious. Mmm, I could eat these all day. I've had this tree long enough in pots and in the ground. This has probably been in the ground for four years. This is, or maybe, yeah, four, I guess, and then another year to pot. This is probably the fourth season in the ground. And it's a beautiful and productive tree. And it's delicious. It's extremely healthy. Of course, it's insect resistant. Look at, look at that. Look at that beautiful. I'm going to pick this. I'm talking a little bit too long on this one variety. I want to get going here and moving around because I want to show you this comparison. But I like this fig. Very thick skinned. I like that chewy aspect. That texture. Oh, this one's sweet. Oh, this one's good. Mmm. So delicious. I've only had a couple, two ripe um, Peter's honey, which I did have in my video just a few days ago. And it certainly was beautiful and large and delicious, the main crop figs. And I can see right up there, and you can see it, they're starting to swell now. So I'm going to have an abundance very soon of my delicious and very favored, along with others, fig variety that I just can't sing the praises of enough. Here's another variety of work. And it did well, because it's got Celeste in its lineage. And uh, anything that's Celeste is really good in the rain, for the most part, unless you get tremendously excessive rains and then anything is going to fall apart I don't care what they are all right so as I was saying my Rondi Bordeaux which a lot of them now have been picked and made into bread good thing I was able to rescue them um, they're doing very well they're an earlier fig my earliest fig and here I've got the net over it to keep those darn birds away, and it's working very effectively. Uh, I've still got to, I've just been running around. I really shouldn't make excuses. 
But I, I've been running around. I've been very busy. Hold on a second here. 